Hi guys, my name is Kyle August and I'm going to help you manifest your specific person or whatever you want in the absolute quickest and easiest way possible. During your process of manifestation, you may have times in which you kind of feel stuck or feel worried. And this is when we just discuss this idea that everything in your reality is an exact reflection of what you are conscious of being. And the more we place our attention, the more we place energy onto something that we do not like or what we do not want, the more we actually reiterate that thing in our reality. And Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, Joe Dispenza, all talk about this idea that when you see something you don't like in your external reality, you want to take your attention away from it. So Neville Goddard specifically talks about this idea that you cannot serve two masters. So think about that for a moment. If you are attempting to live in the wish fulfilled state, um, what I do is specifically for a specific person manifestation. So if you want to manifest your specific person and you want to be fully conscious of already being with them, then you cannot also maintain in your consciousness this idea of you being single, right? That's the two masters. The one master is you being with your specific person in that perfect relationship. And the other one is uh, you being single. So you not having your specific person. Most of the time throughout the entire process, we try so hard to serve two masters, but you can't do that. You need to pick one and obviously pick the one of you already being in that relationship. But, and tell me if you're feeling this way right now, many people in the manifestation process Again, attempt to remain the same, but get something that is not of the state that they're already in. They feel anxious or worried, and everybody feels this 100%, no matter what. I felt this during the process of manifesting a specific person when I first ever began doing it. So I'm assuming that you're feeling this way too. But we definitely always, and it's, this isn't even specifically with specific person manifestation, we always attempt to get something without changing our state because our logical mind, our ego mind feels as though that is the easiest way to do it. But in order to actually get what we are desiring, we do have to have a conscious state change. So if you feel right now that you are serving two masters, the first step is to just realize that you, you feel like you are. And hopefully that gives a lot of motivation and a lot of positivity and abundance to you knowing that even though you're not seeing the results you are right now with your specific person, this actually may be the culprit and switching this, you're going to see your entire reality begin to shift because it's as simple as that idea that if you are the poor man, but desire wealth, you cannot get wealth being the poor man. You have to shift into the mindset of the wealthy man in order to get all of the wealth that you are looking for. And Neville Goddard talks about this idea, your past state needs to die or let go. That's, those are the two masters. You can't hold two identities within you at the same time. So imagine if you did attempt to do that, imagine the frustration, the anxiety, and the worry that you would be feeling holding two different identities. Imagine trying to be you and trying to be someone else at the same exact time. But this is the outcome many of us actually attempt to do during the manifestation process. But you can already see and feel that if I'm trying to be in that relationship with my specific person, but at the same time attempting to remain comfortable in my single state, this that's a battle that's gonna occur within your mind. It's gonna result in anxiety, uh, result in worry. So whenever, so basically to come full circle, when you are doing, because obviously we're gonna do techniques to live in the end, we're gonna act in accordance with that idea. Imagine trying to act throughout your day as someone in that wish fulfilled state with their specific person or someone being single, your actions would immediately conflict, right? Because the person who is in that wish fulfilled state, you, the version of you that is with your specific person in that happy relationship thinks certain ways, believes certain things. And that would 100% directly conflict with the thoughts and beliefs of the version of you that is single. So, Again, if this is something you're doing, it's a super easy fix because even knowing this, and that's a lot of the things when it comes to manifestation, just knowing what, just making small intentional changes to your mental mindset, thinking of it in a different way, visualizing it differently, because I'm a super visual person. And when I have these metaphors of two masters kind of controlling you or dominating your environment, um, that gets me thinking heavily and hopefully it gets you thinking 
uh, as well. So when I can imagine that, hope, again, hopefully it helps you out just as much as it helps me, but I can definitely think, okay, that makes a lot of sense. If I am not feeling good, if I'm feeling frustrated, if I'm having anxiety, then I'm most likely attempting to serve uh, two masters. So again, he quotes a quote from Neville Goddard that's really important as well. Um, your conviction of yourself, your opinion of yourself will determine your expression in life. Right now, are you viewing yourself as the person in that perfect relationship or as a single person? Do you act as the person as that that is in love with your SP and has your SP in love with you? Or do you act as the person who is single? Again, just looking at those a really simple technique that you can actually do that is going to change and alter and get you the best results possible is to ask yourself, is this coming from an abundant state? Am I acting from the wish fulfilled? Do that before literally everything that you do throughout the day and you will notice huge, massive, awesome changes begin to occur. Because like I always mentioned, the quickest way to a state change is a physiological change. So with law of assumption, we technically don't have to exert any effort, uh, perform any actions to get what we want. But right now, we do have certain beliefs that align with certain actions. If you're, well, an example of this would be if you were to meditate that you were the most confident person in the world, or someone was to compliment you saying how confident you are, which one would make you feel more confident? Most people would say the third party or the outside person, I mean, complimenting you about your confidence makes you feel a lot better. But the same thing happens with your actions. If you are acting in accordance with that idea, if you, if you are, I don't know, giving a speech and you give the best speech ever and it, everyone applauds at the end, everyone in the audience is like, that was the best speech ever. How does that make you feel confident? Would that make you feel more confident than meditating or affirming on it? Now, I don't, I'm not saying that you shouldn't meditate or you shouldn't affirm because again, like I mentioned, you don't technically have to do anything to get your manifestation, to get into that state of the wish fulfilled. Really, if you think upon yourself meditating and yourself giving that speech, who was the person that allotted you the ability to feel confident? It was always you. It was always an it will constantly always be ourselves that grant us the ability to feel any emotion. Because really, there is no difference except external stimuli that makes us believe that we are in front of a group of people giving the best speech ever or sitting in a room meditating. In our imagination, everything in our external reality is going to feel and look the exact same to us. So when you go into your visualizations, when you go into those affirmations, really put a lot of weight into that because when you imagine yourself on your wedding day with your specific person and then you also live that in reality when your manifestation occurs it's going to feel the same way i can guarantee you that and that goes with literally everything you can manifest Um, if you're manifesting money uh, imagining or feeling wealthy when you see that in your external reality the exact same feeling is going to occur there is going to be no difference in that Um, so remember Imagination is key. What you are giving attention to, you are giving life in your reality, and you really want to become conscious of that which you want to be. Don't just think it. Don't just feel it. Don't serve those two masters. Let go of that version of you that's single. Move into that version or that consciousness of you that is with your specific person. Uh, If you have any questions about this, because that's literally everything I want to say, I might have rambled a little bit too much or gotten off topic a little bit, but Hopefully, this is helping you manifest your specific person in the quickest and easiest way possible. I absolutely know that you can do it. So, uh, like I mentioned, any questions at all, post them down in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content or more information on manifesting your specific person because I would love to help each and every one of you. Uh, If you really had other or you wanted to send me a personal question, head over to my website, kyleaugustcoaching.com or check out my TikTok, which is Manifestation Man. I'll put it right here. Um, But I'll see you guys next time.